friends and welcome to another video. Today we have some deep, 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 deep cleaning to do. Like a lot. So let's just freaking jump right in. Okay, so I, if you don't know about me, I have a cleaning lady. She's fantastic, wonderful, one of my favorite humans on the face of the planet. She does such a great job. She cleans our house every other week. And it's a decision Eric and I made a long time ago because I have OCD, if you don't know, and I tend to obsess about things. And um, one of those things I tend to obsess about is the cleanliness of our house. If I do it myself, then I get really, really upset and fixated when the cleaning I just did gets messed up, which we live in a house that we live in, our dogs live in, it's bound to get messed up. But if I relinquish that control and give it to someone else and know that someone else is taking care of cleaning my house every other week, then I don't get so stressed out about cleaning. So there's my caveat for that. But my cleaning lady, who's wonderful and amazing, and I love her so much, she doesn't do like deep, deep cleans. So periodically I will just do things like wipe light switches and doors and windows, cabinet fronts, all the deep cleaning things that you don't do every week, but that definitely still need to be done. I have some air vents that you guys just wait till you see them. Okay, frick, it's gonna be an interesting video and I'm gonna show you all of my uh, hidden dust bunnies. So come along with me in this, what is bound to be very satisfying video where we do some deep cleaning and make this house look spotless. So first I'm just gonna do a couple of like quick, tidies the house is not um super messy um but it's not perfect either so i'm gonna tidy first and then we'll get into the deep cleaning my cleaning lady did just come so it's fairly clean here and now let's just whip it into shape and get that deep cleaning done first we're gonna start in the kitchen so it's not like horribly awful but it's not great living room is pretty much fine. I just need to fluff cushions and put blankets away. Um, we were watching, binge watching Stranger Things um, the past couple of nights. But over here, um, there's some dishes in the sink that I will be ignoring because that's one of Eric's chores that he always takes care of. And I will say, we do a lot of cooking, a lot of cooking. Like we cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner here because we both work from home. So it looks like there's a lot of dishes in the dishwasher, but honestly, he did the dishes at lunch. So it's just dinner stuff. So he rotate, he probably does dishes two times a day at least. Um, and then once right before bed as well. So they are not um, dishes that have been sitting there for a while. It just, we accumulate dishes super fast because we eat here all the time. So ignore those. We're not gonna touch them today, but we'll touch everything else. So we're gonna clean up this kitchen counter and then I'm going to wipe cabinet fronts and maybe like um, reorganize the pantry a bit or not reorganize, just kind of do some upkeep on the current organization in there. I may clean some appliances, but honestly, they do not look too bad at all because my cleaning lady actually does do appliances every time she's here, so I may honestly skip those. Um, look, we just got an air fryer. We finally um, succumbed to the hype, mostly because we're trying to eat healthier, and we've heard that air frying is a healthier alternative to frying. Um, so if we love it so far. We've only used it once, but anyway, let's clean this kitchen. Oh, hello, voiceover Miley here to say, do you see those blankets that I just folded? Because they are the greatest blankets in the entire universe. They're called Minky Couture. It's a brand out of Utah. Yes, I was recommended to them by the many Mormon Utah mom influencers I follow out there. They are incredibly expensive, but you can always find really good discounts on them, whether it's through like an influencer code or they just run a lot of sales. And it is worth it, you guys. They're the greatest blankets we've ever owned. Eric bought me one for Christmas, and then he stole it so much that I bought him one for his birthday. I'll link the vlog up here of Eric's birthday, because that was recent, and um, you can see all the presents I got him, but we freaking love Minky Couture blankets and are obsessed, so you should check them out if you're looking for a fancy, awesome blanket. Um, now I'm cleaning. I guess I'll talk about what I'm actually doing in this video. Um, I love wiping my cabinets. Like, it just brings me immense joy. Oh my god, we have to talk about this ledge. You guys, this is the ledge that's right above my stovetop. And when I tell you that I almost vomited when I saw this, I almost vomited. Do you see how I have to freaking scrub the crap out of it? Oh my god, it is so disgusting. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera adequately captured the disgustingness that was that above ledge. But holy freaking crap, you guys. 
it was caked on. My hand hurts from scrubbing. That was disgusting, but I'm glad it's much cleaner now. It's not perfect, but it's much cleaner. So Whew. now I need to do the cabinets over here. Let's do it. Okay, I normally cut out time-lapse transitions so that I don't make anyone vomit, but this one for some reason came out kind of cool, so I left it in. Tell me what you guys think. Am I making you so sick right now? I'm sorry if I am, but I'm just wiping down all the outlets, and then I think I move on to like all the doors, and I just changed locations so much that I thought it was just kind of fun, you know, to leave in the zoomies. So I'm really sorry if I'm making you want to vomit right now. This is the only part that's like it, so just deal with it. Suck it up, baby. Okay, first of all, look at how adorable these three puppies are. Oh my gosh. I mean, come on. Also, Harry Potter is playing from that computer in the background, so excuse it. But I've done the kitchen and the doorways and the light switches all in this general area. So now all that's left to do out here before I do windows, which I think I'm going to do windows last, is just rework this pantry a bit. Just clean it up. It, the organization works great, but we're just going to um, finagle some stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Welcome to the shot of my butt. You're welcome for the view. I will say I'm just now realizing that these shorts that I bought the other day from Old Navy are longer than I thought they were. I swear I was buying five inch shorts, but I think they're seven inch. So there's your PSA to make sure to check the size of the shorts you're buying before you accidentally buy seven inch shorts instead of five inch shorts. Okay, it definitely looks better. I didn't touch any of this down here because this is what we use every single day. In fact, pretty much these two levels, I mean, we use I mean, the air fryer's new. You saw I cleared a spot for that. I use the mixer all the time. I use the blender pretty much every day. And the empty spot right there is for the top of the blender that's in the washing machine right now. <laughs> washing machine. <laughs> I always get the dishwasher and the washing machine confused. It's in the dishwasher right now, so that's where that'll go. But yeah, I recently went through all this, so I know it's all organized and good. Um, I took the rotisserie that won't fit on a shelf except the very top shelf, and I just think that's dangerous because it's really heavy. So I just pushed it in this corner. And these two... Um, cutting boards are here because they don't fit in any cabinets. We have our broom and then this is just appliance section and that's like extra section. I moved our like Disney World reusable bags that we use for like groceries and taking stuff to people's houses and just you know random stuff. My little lunch box up there and then that's just like extra storage stuff plus my baking stuff in that big Kate Spade bag and that's baking stuff. So yeah the floor is just a little bit more um, not occupied and the shelves are a little more full. So it's not like the most beautiful pantry you've ever seen in the world, but it functions really super well for us. So I feel good about that. <sighs> I'm officially hot. So I think what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do is windows out here and then probably move to the bedrooms and offices. So yeah, let's do windows. Ooh, I just freaking love cleaning windows. Even like as a child, my favorite chore was when my mom was like, okay, let's clean all the windows. There's just something oddly satisfying about Windex. And also I love the smell of it. Anybody else? Okay. <gasps> I'm done in the living kitchen area. Thank goodness. Cause I'm getting a little tired. I'm not going to lie. Um, but in the bedroom, which is our last stop for today. Um, first of all, you guys look, look, look. Who even am I? Like, I did not make my bed today. Um, I didn't even half make it. Normally, I just half make it. But So we got to tidy this room. There's really nothing um, untidy about this room except for the bed I got to make. But let's make the bed. And then we're going to... I checked the windows. They're fine. Um, we're going to do doors. And um, I got to show you this vent. Oh my gosh, look at this vent. Do you see that? What the heck? I promise not all of my vents look like that. In fact, I checked all my other vents and they're fine. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening up there, but we got to clean that crap. And I think we're going to do the fan blades too. If I can reach them, I honestly may not be able to reach them. I don't think I will be able to reach them actually. Oh, I might. I might with the Swiffer. I, I don't know. We'll see. So let's do the bedroom. And then we're going to finish with some laundry and some ironing. Does anyone else like love ironing? I love to iron. I love to do laundry. I love to iron. I don't know why. That's so weird, isn't it? But I love it. So we're going to end with some nice relaxing ironing after this 
bedroom cleanup. So let's do it. Here's my question, people. Question of the day. Um, do any of you sleep with a weighted blanket and has it changed your life like it's changed our life? We are obsessed with our weighted blanket. We love it so much and we will never go back. All right, you guys, we're going in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this is hard to do one-handed. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to vacuum. There's dust in my eye. Oh my God. There's particles falling on the floor. Oh my. This, what, what in the actual, oh. <laughs> This is so hard to do one-handed. <gasps> There's dust everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not perfect <sighs> by any means. There's dust all over me, but it's freaking better. So now we're gonna have to get the vacuum and vacuum up <laughs> all this dust. Oh my god. Also, we got the same situation going on with the fan. Let me see if I can. Get oh yeah, look at this, you guys. That is so bad. Look. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm just like. Bleh. Oh my god. It looks like freaking the Stranger Things. Um. Can you see that? Looks like the upside down with all the little dust particles. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so freaking bad. Let's get the vacuum and clean this crap up. Wow. I seriously cannot get over the fact that there was that much dust on just that one vent and just on our ceiling fan. Like, what the heck? Is that like a circulation issue? <sighs> wow, that was a lot of dust. A lot of dust. Okay, so now that that's all cleaned up, we are going to finish this video. I have one last load of laundry in the wash. I mean, in the dryer. Yeah, I think it's done. It's towels. So I just need to fold those and put them away real quick. And then I'm going to get out my ironing board and all the stuff I need to iron. And I'm going to iron because it makes me happy inside. And I don't know if I'm going to try to push through and finish Harry Potter, if I'm going to turn YouTube on and watch that. Probably I'll turn YouTube on and watch that because I'm home alone tonight. Eric went to Shawnee to hang out with some friends without me and I'm too scared to finish. I only have like two hours and 45 minutes left of Harry Potter number seven. I'm too much of a scaredy cat to listen to that at home by myself at night. Not going to happen. So I think I'm going to switch over to the YouTubes and get to ironing and putting laundry away. So let's do it. I love doing laundry. I don't know if it's because it's just such like a mindless process and very repetitive or that it gives you like instant results. Like once you do it and you accomplish it, your clothes are all clean and nice and hung up and happy. But it just brings me great joy in my heart. I love laundry and I love ironing. If you're wondering what I'm watching in the background, it is a Mennonite YouTuber named Lynette Yoder who I love. I watch a lot of religious mom vloggers. I don't know why. I just find it fascinating. Wow, I did it. That was a lot of ironing, actually. It got to the point where I was like, hey, I'm over this. Um, especially because I ended on one dress that just like would not iron the way I wanted it to iron. I don't know what its problem was today. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this deep clean adventure with me. I am certainly tired and ready for a nappy poo, as my mother calls them. So I think we're gonna be done. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!